Rod Adventures. Welcome to today's show. We are in Glen Rio, New Mexico, right on the border with Texas. And uh, right across the highway, there's a place that Adam the Woo's done about 50 videos. So it's been covered quite well. So we're going to skip that part and uh, move on down the road. All right, guys, I'm your host, Mad Max. Hang on, check this out. I think I found Walter White's car. Look at that. A beat up ass Tekka, man. It's Walter White's car. Anyway, I'm your host, Mad Max. You're watching Max Adventures. We we're in New Mexico. We just got here. We're going to be passing through, going to uh, on further west, but it's late in the day today, so we're going to spend the night somewhere in New Mexico. Um, and I do want to go by and see Saul Goodman's office. That's on my list of stuff to do because I just finished the last season of uh, Better Call Saul. It's one of my favorite shows, Breaking Bad, all that. So I'm going to go see where that's at. So we're going to try to find that tomorrow. Join us on the adventure. Ciao, y'all. So this is like our trip takes us through Tucumcari. And this was the last holdout for uh, Route 66 to be decommissioned. They put up a hell of a fight here to block Interstate 40 from uh, bypassing town. There's the old historic Route 66 is that way. I've done some videos on that in the past, so I'm not going to get off onto that this time. But uh, yeah, man, this place was the last holdout. This stretch of road right here was not finished for a long time. You had to go through town over there all the lights and everything on the old 66 to uh, continue west or east depending on which way you're going man it looks me back in that direction all right gas is 335 a gallon out here in chicken carry and uh flying j was pretty interesting uh, there's nobody working in there everything was automated very strange So I saw a sign there for fried chicken. I was thinking, all right, fried chicken. But uh, man, it looked terrible. Like it was cooked at like six o'clock this morning. And it's weird because I don't even know who serves it to you. There was no people in there. It was all like automated lines you went through to pay for your whatever. So strange place. Wow, look at how ominous these clouds look, folks. Pretty crazy looking, huh? That thing, that's a wicked looking storm right there, like a Hellmaker if I ever seen one. And we're driving right into it. I'm hoping this road curves to the left here in a minute. Wow. Is this a porthole to hell? Crazy looking. So we're gonna go out here on old Route 66 and see what we can find. This is the old Route 66 right here. I'm not sure I ever got off the highway in this town, so I'm uh, gonna yeah, see what it has to offer. All right, we got some Mexican American food over here, the Silver Moon. We are on actually old Route 66. There's a motel that's defunct. It's under new management. I don't think they did a very good job managing it. There's an abandoned uh, gas station that says Chinese restaurant. A couple of motels, Holiday Inn Express, uh, Best Western over here. A bunch of defunct buildings. That building over there is defunct. That one's completely gone. Not sure what that would have been. I guess it was a gas station. Um, let's see. There is enough places to stay where you can find a place to stay if you've been driving all day, so that's good. There's a Hampton Inn. So quite a few uh, motels, but uh, I don't know where the downtown would be in this town, but uh, along old Route 66 here is pretty much uh, dilapidated. Here's something over here that's kind of interesting. There's a museum, Route 66 Car Museum. That's cool. There's another gas station that used to be. 
Lots of abandoned gas stations. Now here's what I like to find right here. Look at this. Check this out. This old motor court. You can tell that's been here since Route 66. I'm sorry, folks. I'm shooting in the sun, but the La Mesa. That's pretty freaking cool right there. Look at yeah. Rio Pecos Ranch truck. That's out of business. gas station, the old defunct gas station. There's a lot of a lot of gas stations that are just no longer here. A lot. Yeah, it looks like we're getting to the part of town that has a few more modern things. The restaurant over there down the Econo Lodge. La Quinta. Roadway Inn. Yeah, it looks like we're getting to a little little bit of a more modern part of the town here. Got McDonald's on the left. Um, Days in. Another old defunct gas station. Old gas station signs and all for back in the day. Old restaurant that's closed. Another abandoned gas station. Historic Route 66. Yeah, so I thought you guys might enjoy taking a little trip down the old Mother Road for a minute. Here in Santa Rosa. Yeah, houses on the hill. That's cool. Another old motel over here. Check this out. I like the old sign. I don't know if it's still open. It looks like it's gone. But look at that. That old restaurant. That's cool looking. And there's a Sun and Sand motel that's defunct. They're still cool looking, huh? You can tell like back in the day this would have been a really cool drive, you know, all kinds of stuff. There's the old Pizza Hut building. Auto supply parks, another abandoned building, abandoned coin laundry. This is cool though, because this is where all the old motels are. Sunset Motel. I love finding these old motor courts. It's one of my favorite things. Western Motel, it's defunct. Gone. Here's La Loma Motel. That was actually up kept really nice. That's cool looking. I'm really just amazed at how many motels are in this town. Here's another one that's, that's still in good shape. Tower Motel. That's pretty cool. Check that one out. Man, look at those clouds. Ain't that majestic looking? Looks like a painting. All right, let's cruise on the rest of this town here, Santa Rosa. Looks like they got a pretty cool downtown. I've never actually pulled through this town. I usually just go through it on the interstate. All right, let's pull through downtown here. Got a diner on the corner. There's a courthouse and all. It's a really cute downtown. There's a dog pissing on trees. Yeah, both of them. They had both had to take a leak. <clears throat> Got the Pecos. What is this? It's an old theater. Yeah, it is the theater. And it's still in business. Hey, that is cool, man. Look at that. Old Route 66 theater. Wow. Check that out. That is super cool. All right, folks. I like this town. This is a cool town. 
State University. City County Government Complex. Santa Rosa Radio. Check out some of the hoods here, see if we can find some hoods quick. Which way do we go, George? Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll head back towards the main drag here, the old Route 66. Dip. There's a lot of abandoned buildings, but it's, it's still cool looking, you know. I, I like towns that don't completely erase their history. I get it when some of them have to, you know, the buildings are so decrepit you can't keep them up anymore safely, but yeah, man. See, go this way for a minute. The comet. There's the Pecos River. Imagine it's flowing pretty good right now. It's rained a ton. Yeah, it's pretty down there. This would definitely be a cool town to explore, you know. In depth. There's another old motel that way. Definitely no shortage of rooms. One cool thing about getting on Route 66 out here, uh, when you get to New Mexico and Arizona and all, there's a cool fire truck, check that out. It's getting kind of dark, it's hard to see now, but um, you know, one of the cool things about being out here is um, <clears throat> they have preserved Route 66 through these towns pretty well. So you can see the old motor courts, um, the old gas stations, you know. They run just kind of parallel to the uh, the interstate. So, all right, we're gonna roll on. I think Klein's Corner is gonna be our next uh, take a leak stop. All righty, folks, we made it to a uh, motor court. Old motor court has been refurbished um, on Route 66. I have no idea what time we're in. We got stuck in traffic for like two and a half hours behind a wreck. It's midnight and I gotta get some sleep. I've been driving for like all day since like 10 o'clock this morning. So, uh, yeah, it's time for bed. Anyway, well, uh, thank you for watching today's video. Tomorrow we'll pick up on Route 66 for some small town back road stuff. And we are gonna find Saul Goodman's office tomorrow because it's all good, man. All right, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next episode.